All right, folks, uh, after I did the last video where I was uh, caping an awdad, where I just caped him off the head, I had several people ask about how you cape an awdad. Um, we're doing this for a half life size, so it'll have the feet on it. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but we're gonna go, I'll make all the cuts, and then you can hopefully figure out how to skin him from there. So uh, appreciate Ruben coming out. You need uh, probably the best knife I've ever had my handle hands on. Ruben Ramos knives. If you want the double diamond edition, you can order one of those. And uh, yeah, so real simple knife, real lightweight. It's his skeleton knife. Works great. So he's running the camera for me. And uh, I'm gonna, once again, Roll him straight, please. Pull his legs straight out. It'll be fine. This one? Just get him. Alright. So I break the Atlas joint and you cut right down the middle of this stripe. And like I said on the last video, if you don't like your taxidermist and you want to pay to have him stitched up, then cut him all the way to the tail. You would do a dorsal cut. If you would do a dorsal cut if you were going to do a life size, but I see these guys splitting them all the way down the back, and that's stupid. If you're in a horrible, horrible spot, then split them down the back. If you're not and you like your taxidermist, then don't split them down the back. So all I'm doing here is I'm just getting me enough slack in the skin. So that I can cut his atlas joint off. And that noise that you might hear in the background is our wonderful Air Force refueling as they're flying over. All right, for those of y'all that don't know, anatomy on the atlas joint is like this. His head moves like this. So you're gonna have to work the front end of your knife inside of here. So I just separate it. And then once I cut down the side like that, I can typically do like the chiropractors do me once a week. And that created some slack. All right, his head's cut loose. Now, I'm just keeping his head up so that he doesn't get blood everywhere. Well, I was. All right. So what you're doing here 
And you're just cutting on the back of the leg. And with a nice sharp knife, you make nice, straight, clean cuts, which sew back easier. Now he's doing a half life size. So I'm gonna go right in front of the penis and then I'm gonna ring him. That way he can be a, a wall pedestal. For those of y'all that have caped an dad, you know how tough their hide is. So this knife's sharp. That's why it went through them. I hate those stupid Havilon knives or all that kind of stuff. So get a real knife, learn how to use it. You'll be a whole lot better off. That's another neat little tip for the day. Same deal. So now he's he's ready to skin. I'm not gonna go through that whole process, but if I'll do some of it, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing because it'll take too long. But because he's doing a half life size, he wanted feet. Now with the right form, you can still get all the chaps. If you use a McKenzie, these West Texas sheep swallow a mckenzie form but if you want a half life size with the rock you'll have to use a different form uh, but if you didn't want the feet and the rock all you do is cut him off here at the knee pad that's the only difference between a half life size and and like a wall pedestal or something like that if you wanted a full body mount you'd cut him all the way down the back and then peel him from the top or at least i would i'd do a dorsal cut so anyhow these guys are real thick hide and since I'm carrying it out, I'm not going to leave any meat on it or very little. And once again, with a good knife, it's, it's going to take a while, but if you're carrying it and you don't mind carrying some extra weight, then leave that meat on it. But by doing this, there's way less chance of the cape slipping or the hair slipping and I don't have to carry this meat out this isn't a bad hike out but sometimes they are so anyhow like I said go check out Ruben's knives ramosknives.com or rrknives.com get you a double diamond edition and support me too or come hunting and I'll use it and show you how it's done personally so Hope that helps. Y'all take care. Have a good one.